Hi everyone, good day. In this subject, I would like you to know about the informations of the five stages of vaccine development. This is related to the issues why most people have the vaccine hesitancy or vaccine acceptance to take it or not. With the knowledge on the five stages of vaccine formulation, it may change your decision making on vaccine acceptance as part of your social responsibility. Over 100 studies are underway to find a vaccine for COVID-19. Vaccination is one of the world's most successful health intervention, saving as many as 3 million lives every year. Vaccines saving lives at every age. There are about 1.5 million deaths a year could be avoided with the improved global coverage. A successful routine immunization system requires the synchronization of multiple program components to provide people the opportunity to be successfully vaccinated. When you all say vaccination, this is one when a vaccine is determined or administered to you usually by injection. Immunization is what happens in your body after you have the vaccination. The vaccine will stimulate your immune system so that it can recognize the disease and protect you from future infection. Vaccine hesitancy, cost, conflict, and are among the barriers. So we have the people's vaccine acceptance this is related to the information you know and understand. People may have the vaccine. They are going to refuse all because they may be either informed and understand or not the significance of effects. Refuse but unsure. They are slightly informed, neither understand. Delay or refuse some because they are doubtful of the information of the significance or effects of the vaccine. In this uh, refuse some, others may have the first dose but they discontinue because of the effect they feel. Accept but unsure, they may have the vaccination but they are not sure. Accept all, neither inform and understand or not the effects. This is take it. The vaccination. Now, according to the statistica, the cost per job of COVID-19 vaccine candidates was were reported. Now, the COVID-19 vaccine candidates, we have the mRNA-1273, which is the Moderna from America, which cost 37 US dollar. And peso, that is equivalent to 1,800 pesos. The Coronavac which is the Sinovac from China, it cost $30. The BNT162B2, which is the Pfizer and the collaboration of BioNTech, now coming from uh, US, it cost $20. While the gum COVID back Sputnik V from Russia, it cost $10. While the GNG7843675, now coming from from the Jensen and Jensen, it cost ten dollar, and the cheapest uh, vaccine is the Chedox One in COVID nineteen, a collaboration from the University of Oxford and the AstraZeneca vaccine, so coming from Sweden, which is four dollars only, so it costs for almost two hundred pesos, so that is the projection, now as of December one two thousand twenty. So some of these trials are still ongoing, but the final prices subject to change. But according to the WHO, the World Health Organization, vaccination is among the most important developments in human health, saving millions of lives a year. The COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic has highlighted the importance of immunization to our modern world. But the path to universal vaccination is neither simple nor cheap. The race is on to find a COVID-19 vaccine. So as you could see, we have the pipeline of the current stage of development that was uh, 
started uh, last year, 2020. Now, across the world, more than 100 COVID-19 vaccines are currently being developed, with one European pharmaceutical company predicting it could have one ready to go into production globally as early as September last year. In China, where the outbreak was first reported, five vaccines are already being tested on humans. And a government body says at least one could be ready at the end of this year, 2020, last year, 2020. Now, but when it comes to vaccine formulation, it could still take a long time. Because there are five stages of vaccine development. A vaccine usually takes more than 10 years to develop. And it costs up to 500 million US dollars. Because in vaccine development, there is what we call as staging. The first stage, or the what we call as the discovery research, it will take two to five years. And then in that years, up to 100 potential vaccines. Because here in discovery research, this is a preliminary phase in the design process that involves researching the problem space, framing the problem to be solved, and then this is the time there will be gathering of enough evidence and initial directions on what to do next. Discoveries do not involve testing of hypothesis or solution, just a mere discovery. And in the second stage of vaccine development, we have the what we call as preclinical. clinical So it will take two years. And then from 100, it will, it will sub down to 20 potential vaccines. Because in drug development, preclinical development also named as preclinical studies and non-clinical studies, which is a stage of research that begins before clinical trials can begin. And during which important feasibility, iterative testing, and drug safety data are collected, typically not in humans but in laboratory animals. The next stage is the third stage, clinical development. Under this clinical development, there are three phases. In the first phase, this is the time you are going to ask the question. Is it safe? So it will take one to two years. And then it will sub down to a potential thin vaccines. And then in phase two, under stage three, it will take two to three years. Five potential vaccines. And then this is the time you are going to ask question. It does activate an immune response if this vaccine will be inoculated to the human body. So it will take two to three years. And then in phase number three, under stage three, stage three clinical development, it will take two to four years, which has one potential vaccine. So after the third stage, now, mind you, now we are going to understand when you will say clinical development for vaccines. Now, for advance, it involves a step-down approach where safety is first tested in adults, followed by adolescents, children, and lastly, to the infants. And adjuvants or the substances to enhance the immune response are incorporated into vaccine formulations to modulate and improve the immune response. That's why every vaccine, now it will be inoculated or vaccinated first in adult before to infants or children. Now, after third stage, we have the fourth stage, which is the regulatory review approval. It will take one to two years for this one vaccine for the approval. Now, who will give the approval? Now, we have the what we call as FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. In U.S., this is a federal agency of Department of Health and Human Services. Every country has a food and drug regulatory agency followed the international standards. This regulatory approval means all approvals necessary for the manufacture, marketing, importation, and sale of a product for one or more indications in the field in a country or regulatory jurisdiction which may include without limitations. 
satisfactions of all applicable regulatory and notification requirements. Now, when it comes to approval, how long does it get FDA approvals? Now, it takes process. It will take one week up to eight months, depending on whether you are going to register it or you are going to submit applications or submit the what we call as PMA, the pre-market approval application. And then you are going to bring a medical device to market is not as fast process. So how do you approve? The FDA approval, now drug manufacturers must conduct laboratory, animal, and human clinical testing and submit their data to FDA. Then they are going to review the data and they are going to approve the drug if the agency whether objective determining that the benefits of this drug outweigh the risk for the intended use. Now, in the last stage of vaccine development, the five states, which is the manufacturing and delivery. Now here, this is the time that require uh, specialist facilities that are highly regulated and expensive to develop. It usually starts following phase two clinical trials to develop the thousands of doses needed for phase three trials. So these five states, which is manufacturing and delivery, now is the last stage of vaccine formulation or development. If we are going to sum that up, it will cost now from five years to 10 years, and it will cost $500 million. So here, according to Dr. Jerome King, Director General of the International Vaccine Institute, he said that the speed with which researchers and pharmaceutical companies have responded to the coronavirus epidemic has been described as unprecedented. So when we are used to five-year time frame to see something go into human testing on March 17 is really a, a remarkable thing. He told the CNBC News, does this guarantee success? He said, not necessarily. But vaccine development is characterized by a high failure rate of 10, 93% between animal studies and registration of a product. So 93% between animal studies and registration of a product. He said, vaccine development is characterized by a high failure rate. Now, the discovery and research phase is normally two to five years, according to the Wellcome Trust. So in total, a vaccine can take more than 10 years to fully develop and cost up to $500 million. This is according to the UK charity, uh, as they said. Now here, we have the vaccines ready for inoculation. We have the Moderna from US. We have the uh, Sinovac from China. We have the Pfizer from US in collaboration with the biotech. And then we have the uh, Sputnik from Russia. We have the Johnson & Johnson now coming from US. And then we have the AstraZeneca from Sweden in collaboration, in collaboration with the University of Oxford. Now, the Moderna is the expensive one. And then the cheapest one is the AstraZeneca. That is according to uh, the Statistica. Now, here, if we are going to think and even established vaccines are not universals. Now, we have the uh, BCG immunization, we have the DPT, we have the measles vaccination, the polio, now, uh, that is being used as immunization uh, previously and then See, so for example, the polio, even the United States of America, they pronounced that they totally eradicated the, the polio. But still, in the other countries, now they are. So that's why uh, all the infants now, as much as possible, uh, they will be subjected for immunizations. So the thing of the question for us today, is it twice? to submit for vaccination today. Now, from the information, we know this scientific creation is proven 
and it is made for the good of humanity. It is a vaccine of hope and saving lives. This may influence our decision making to vaccine acceptance. However, it is a matter of how you are going to use your freedom of choice. To refuse, refuse but unsure, delay, or refuse some, you are going to accept but you are not sure, or you are going to accept vaccination. Thank you.